Let's build an adorable Lego nursery, complete with crib, rocking chair, night table, changing table, and curtains. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Begin with an 8 by 16 plate for the base. Let's place a 1 by 6 plate right on the top center. Now on the left hand side, set down three 1 by 4 plates. The same on the right hand side with three more 1 by 4 plates. Now on the top left, let's start with a 1x6 flat tile. This is going to be the hardwood floor. You can use any color you wish. Now right below the 1x6 flat tile, set down two 1x2 plates with one knob or jumper plates, followed by a 1x2 flat tile. Now right next to these two flat tiles, set down another 1x2 jumper plate, two 1 by 2 flat tiles and another 1 by 2 jumper plate. Now for the top right, let's place a 1 by 4 flat tile and a 1 by 1 flat tile. Now in this area, I want to set down a 1 by 1 plate so we can attach our night table. And to finish up this row, a 1 by 2 flat tile. Now let's begin the third row with a 1 by 6 flat tile, followed by another 1 by 6 flat tile, and a 1 by 2 flat tile. Now on the left hand side, let's place three 1 by 4 flat tiles. Now these two jumper plates are going to be used to attach the crib to the floor. We don't want that sliding around. Now let's place two more 1x2 jumper plates on the bottom so we can anchor the other side of the crib. Now on the right hand side we're just going to set down four 1x4 flat tiles. This makes a nice hardwood floor. Now this opening is left open for a floor rug, so I want to change things up a bit. Well, let's place two one by one flat tiles in the top corners, followed by two one by two flat tiles. You can use any design you wish for the rug. I'm just going to use a simple pattern. Now let's place two more 1 by 2 flat tiles on both sides followed by a set of 2 by 2 flat tiles. Let's continue on on the bottom with a set of 1 by 1s and a set of 1 by 2 flat tiles. And we have a nice rug for the floor. Let's raise some walls on this nursery starting with a 1x3 and a 1x4 brick. Now place four 1x4 bricks in the back. And on the right hand side a 1x4 and a 1x3 brick. This thing's a bit unstable. <laughs> That's why it's spinning around. Well, let's continue on with the second layer of brick with two 1x4 bricks. In the back, set down three 1x4 bricks. Now here we're going to set a 1x2 brick followed by two 1x4 bricks on the right hand side. For the third layer, start with a 1x3 and a 1x4 brick. Set down four 1x4 bricks in the back on top of the previous row. And a 1x4 and a 1x3 brick 
on the right hand side. Let's continue on the fourth row with a set of 1x4 bricks on the left hand side. Now here we're going to place a 1x2 and a 1x3 brick. I'm going to have an opening for a window so let's designate this area with a 1x6 plate. Set down a 1x3 brick right next to the plate followed by two 1x4 bricks on the right hand side. Now let's continue on with a 1x3 and a 1x4 brick. Let's set down another 1x4 and a 1x2 brick on the upper left, followed by two 1x4 bricks and a 1x3 brick on the right hand side. Once again, let's set down a set of 1x4 bricks, followed by a 1x2 and a 1x3 brick. Now let's set some windows. We're going to take three 1x2x3 windows. These already have the glass installed. Let's set these right on top of the 1x6 plate. Now on top of the window I want to lock that in with a 1x6 plate. Now we're not done with that yet because I want to add a curtain rod. <laughs> so let's take three 1x2 modified plate with a horizontal shaft or stick. Place them right on top of the 1x6 plate. We'll be assembling the drapes in a moment or two. Now let's continue on with the wall, starting with a 1x3 and a set of 1x4 bricks. Now for the last layer of wall, I promise. Let's set down a 1x3, a 1x4, another 1x4, and a 1x2 brick on the left hand side. Let's finish up the right hand side with two 1x4 bricks and a 1x3 brick in that area. Now I want to smooth off the top of my wall so it looks more appealing. We're going to grab several 1x2 flat tiles. We're just going to crown off the top. Nothing like seeing a nice finished build. All nice and smooth with flat tiles. This just locks everything together on the top as well. Just about there. Four more 1x2s on the right hand side. There we have the room for our baby nursery. Now, let's build the furnishings. Let's build a set of curtains starting with two 1x4 plates. Let's set down a set of 1x2 plates on the top portion of the 1x4 plates. Now grab two 1x1 plate with holder. Place it on the top portion as shown. We're going to use these to attach to the curtain rod. Now I want to soften up my drapes, so let's place a few 1x4 bricks with bow right on top of the plates. This will finish everything up nice. Let's build ourselves a little rocking chair starting with a 1x2 plate. Let's set down a pair of 1x2x2x2 angular plates on the 1x2 plate. Now this chair is not complete without rockers so I'm going to take two 1x2 inverted plate with bow. Let's slip them right 
underneath and attach them to the angular plates as shown. Now it does rock. Well, we're not done with that yet. Let's take a 2x2x2 two by two by two seat, place it right in between the angular plates. Now I want to finish up both sides. So I'm going to place a 1x2 flat tile on the lower portion of the angular plate. And on the top portion, let's fill in the remaining areas with a pair of 1x2 slopes. Now we have ourselves a little rocking chair. It does actually rock. Let's start the nightstand with a 2x2 two two plate. Let's set down a 1x2 brick on the top studs. Now on this set of studs, let's place a 1x2 triple wall element. This is going to be like a little shelf. Now, let's set this aside. We're going to take a 2x2 two two plate with one knob or jumper plate. Let's flip that over. I want to place a 1x2 brick on one side of the jumper plate. Now on the other side, let's set down two 1x1 one one angular bricks. We're going to assemble ourselves a little fake drawer. Let's set this on top like so. And it does look like a little face. Let's cover up the two studs with a 1x2 flat tile. Now, this isn't complete without a little bedside lamp, so we're going to place a 1x1 nose cone, a transparent yellow stud, and a 2x2 two two half dome for a lampshade. Now let's construct the changing table, starting with two one by two by two by two angular plates. On the back side of the plates, let's set down a one by four plate to lock the angular plates together. Let's place a one by two plate and two one by one bricks on the back side as well. Now on this side, I want to add some fake drawers. So I'm going to flip that flat and set down two 1x4 plates, followed by four 1x2 flat tiles. These make terrific drawer fronts. Now on the back side, in the remaining area, let's place two one by one bricks with one knob. Let's set this assembly off to the side. Let's take a one by two by one by two angular plate and a one by two plate. Let's place these as shown. Now I want to lock these together with a two by two flat tile. Flip it around and we're going to do the same thing on the other side with another 1x2x1x2 one by two by one by two angular plate. And we are going to lock these two pieces together with another 2x2 two two flat tile. Now we're going to set this on top like so. Now on the sides we're going to slip some radiator grills. I know that sounds silly. It just adds to the table a little bit more character. Now on the back side with the bricks with knobs, we're going to take a 2x4 flat tile. We're going to set it on like so. This gives us a little back to our changing table. Now for the baby crib, let's take two 1x4 plates 
and a 2x6 plate. Let's place one end of the 2x6 plate on the 1x4 plate, as well as the other side. Now, take four 1x2x1x2 by by angular plates. Let's place two on the top and two on the bottom. We have a 2x4 area. Let's add the bedding inside the crib, starting in the middle with a 2x2 two two flat tile. Now on the left hand side, set down a pair of 1x1 one one flat tiles. This will finish up the little baby blanket. On the right hand side, let's place a 1x2 slope for a small little pillow. I want to finish up these portions of the studs with a set of 1x4 plates. This is going to be like the little bumper pad inside the crib. On this side, let's set down two 1x2 profile bricks. We have the profile groove facing up and down. On this side, we're going to place one 1x2 profile brick as well as a 1x2 brick with a vertical holder. Now I need to add some posts to this crib. Let's take two one by one bricks, set them on top of one another, and place them in the remaining areas. So we're going to need to make four of these posts in advance. I already made a few ahead of time to speed up the process. I don't want to forget that side. Now I want to finish off the top of the crib with two 1x4 plate with bow. This will lock everything together. Then we need to put some rails on the side of the crib. Let's finish off this side with four 1x2 radiator grills. These do make a nice rail for the baby crib. The same on the other side with four more 1x2 radiator grills. Making sure I get those on there right. This vertical clip is going to be for a small little mobile. Let's start the mobile with a six stud long stick. Let's take a Technic connector with a cross slot. Place the stick inside the slot. Now let's take a Technic pin with a cross axle. Place it in as shown. Followed by another Technic connector with cross slot. Let's stick another Technic pin with cross axle like that. Now let's take this cross axle piece with four sticks. I'm not sure the official name. Let's note where the cross axle hole is at. We want to make sure that this is on the top. Now let's flip it over where we have this spot we're going to attach four 1x1 one one plates with holder. This is going to give us that mobile effect where we have like little decorations hanging around. There we go. One more should do it. And it adds some nice color as well. Now Let's set this inside the cross slot. Let's stick the mobile assembly inside the 
vertical clip. And we have some added color to the baby crib. Let's populate the room with the furnishing, starting with the changing table. I'm going to set it on these two studs. Snaps in place. Now let's hang the curtains. Stick it right in this middle spot. And swing them down. Very easy. Let's set in our night table. In that corner. Now the baby crib just sits on top of these four studs. And on this side, let's put the little rocking chair. This is not complete without a baby. So now we have a little baby figure. And let's throw in a teddy bear to keep him or her entertained. Now everything is scaled for minifigures, so here we have Jay the Surfer. He can walk in, even the crib is the right height, even the changing table. And he does actually sit inside the rocking chair. Well, he's going to have to raise up his hands first. You get the idea. And he does rock. Really nice design. It is a very nice colorful build. I'm hoping you guys and gals can integrate this into any of your projects that require a baby nursery room. If you like this video, be sure to comment your thoughts and click that like button. To show your appreciation, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get notified of my latest LEGO video content. Check out my other LEGO related videos and visit my social media. Thank you for watching.